for this week's Community Spotlight. One community ventures back in time to the land of dinosaurs. Our Brenda Mack tells us more on the Discover the Dinosaurs exhibit. Dinosaurs have taken over the Mitchy Sanford Center the past weekend. T-Rexes and Triceraptors are brought back to life in a much friendlier way than one would assume. They come in and the first half is a walkthrough with the dinosaurs. We have various dinosaurs from different periods of time. The land before time is a first to the community. I'm used to having concerts and hockey games here, so having something like this, like a family kind of event, is really cool. An experience unlike any other for the young and old. This is so cool. I'm excited because this is the happens once a year. We, we learn about them in school, um, but I know for the adults it's been a while, so they come in. It's kind of a fun, interactive way uh, to learn maybe little tidbits that you didn't know, like the size of a stegosaurus's brain is a walnut. And a crowd favorite, dino digging, providing an archaeologist-like experience digging out the past. So we look for the rest of his tail? Yeah. To make the experience even more memorable. I'm searching for like fossils and Gems? Children are able to bring home their own found gems and learn about the various rocks in the process. Once you find everything that you think is on the list you could find, then you pour in more sand. You find these cool stuff. You get to learn more about stuff and dinosaurs way back then. That's what I like because it's like you're doing science. And I think it's fun. Science is so fun. The best thing for me is seeing the four-year-olds come through the store and see all the inflatables that they can ride on as much as they want, and they just squeal. I mean, there's nothing better than that. If you missed it, the dinos would take over Houston, Texas next. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.